Welcome to Super Speed Syllables. This is a quick overview of the 10 lesson syllable spell success class. It can be used as a preview or a review. This overview focuses on syllable division. Students who don't know their sounds well can use these charts to help them sound out words, and other students can use them as a syllable division reference. It moves fast. We get to the 12th grade level words and concepts by the end. We'll start with short vowels. Words and syllables ending in a consonant have their short vowel sound. Op is a syllable. It is pronounced with a short O, as in optic. Here are some more syllables. Am, M, M, Om, Um. Next, a syllable division rule. Divide between two consonants. If you have trouble figuring out where to divide the word, mark the vowels with an X. Then, the two consonants in the middle will stand out better. Draw a line between them. Now that they're divided, it's easy to sound out each syllable and then put them together to make a word. B, ed, bed, r, ock, rock, bedrock. Time to read the words in exercise one. The words in italics use syllable division. Use your pencil to draw a line between syllables before you sound them out. You can put an X or a small dot over the vowels to help you figure out where to divide them. See you back in three minutes. Ack, ek, ik, ock, uck. One syllable words ending in a cuss sound, usually spelled with a CK. These consonant groups are called blends. They keep their sounds, they just blend together. And, end, end, and, und. Amp, amp, imp, ump, ump. Desk, felt, fawn, next. Note how the L changes the sound of the vowel. You also divide between blends. This means that consonants that blend will stay together and you will divide between the blended letters and the other letter. Again, marking the vowels with an X may help you see where the consonants in the middle are. In this first word, lipstick, the letters S and T blend together and you divide between the P and the blend ST. Time to do number two. See you back in three minutes. Words and syllables ending in a vowel have their long vowel sound. We, so, my, me, hi. She, she, shy, show, shoe, shy. Tray, tree, try, tro, true, try. Here's our next syllable division rule. Words will divide before one consonant, making the vowel long. We'll try a few now to see how it works. We mark the vowels and then divide before the consonant, making it baker. Tiger. It works the same even when there is just a vowel before the consonant. Open, elate. Divide before the consonant when there's one consonant. Number three, see you back in three. Red shows spelling changes from I to Y as words of Old English do not end in an I. AI within the word, AY at the end. Male, say. O I within the word, O Y at the end. Boil, toy. Y changes from I to Y in both A I A Y and O I O Y. This pattern also works for E I E Y as in vain and they. Another way to spell long A. Now, let's go green. Words of Old English origin don't end in U. U changes to a W in E U E W, O U O W, and A U A W. W is actually working as a vowel. You can check out W can be a vowel YouTube video for a complete explanation. Let's look at a few. EU within the word EW at the end. Europe flew. OU, OW, out, brown. OU within the word, OW at the end or within. AU within, AW within or at the end. Pause, lawn. Don't get blue. Blue's the last group of vowels will do. Also, Old English words don't end in an A or I. OA changes to OE. Boat, toe. UI changes to UE. Fruit, blue. You can also use this chart to help learn the two letter vowel teams. Overlearning letter sounds and letter teams should help improve your reading speed. Next, syllable division between words. This is the easiest syllable division to figure out. You just look for words and divide before and after words. You can see how it works with these words. Rail, way, railway. Out, side, outside. Time for number four, three minutes. C sounds like S, S before E, I, and Y. Before all other letters, basically A, O, U, L, and R, 
it'll sound like K, 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 C, Sai, Ko, Ku, Sai, Ske, C, Sai, Sko, Sku, Sai, K, C, Sai, Ko, Ku, Sai, Ske, C, Sai, Sko, Sku, Sai. Now a few words. Cat, cinch, cob, cell, crab, nice. G syllables are similar to C syllables. G says j before i, e, and y, and g before the rest. Gay, g, jai, go, gu, jai. Gay, g, jai, go, gu, jai. Number five, see you back in three minutes. While they make the same sound, E, L, and L, E divide differently. Words ending in L, E divide one letter before, but words ending in E, L divide directly before. We'll try a few and then you can divide them up on your own. Battle, cable, gravel, model. Make sure you divide them before trying to sound them out. They're trickier than they look. Time for number six, two minutes. Vowel teams that don't make a sound on their own divide between vowels. Also, some Latin words divide between two vowels that normally make another sound. Look at the syllable division chart. The vowels that normally don't make a sound will divide between them are read and underline them. Since the divided vowel syllables end in a vowel, they'll have their long vowel sound, as in meow or fluid. Except for the vowel I, which can either have its long I sound or its romance language sound of long E. Radio, long I. Fjord, romance, language sound of long E. Number seven, see you back in three minutes. See how the syllables compare and contrast, ending in a consonant, short vowel, ending in a vowel, long vowel sound. Am, 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 um, um, me, me, my, mo, mu. Now, I'll show you how it works in longer words divided into syllables. Two ways of looking at this rule. Batter, bater. Divide between two consonants, divide before one consonant. Another way of looking at it, two consonants, short vowel. One consonant, long vowel. I'll divide up another to show that it also works when the two consonants are different. Lantern, later. Now that we've learned the difference between the two for reading, we're going to work on how these two syllable division rules work for spelling. First, we'll try to spell dinner and diner together. First, write din. What do we need to do to keep the vowel short when we add the er sound? We need to add another consonant so that we can divide between the two consonants, so we add ner. To make diner, we need to keep the vowel long, so we divide before a single consonant. We need to keep one n to keep the vowel long. It may look like the e in dine is keeping the i long, but remember, this rule also works for words like motor. Time for number eight, two minutes. Pre means before. A prefix is something before a root word. A suffix is something after a wor root word. Words will divide after prefixes and before suffixes. Here are some of the most common prefixes and suffixes. Number nine, see you back in two minutes. Now we're off to the PhD level, Webster Speller. Unaccented syllables are often mushed to the schwa sound of a. Uh especially common at the end of the words. Rural, fill it. When the last syllable is accented, however, the sounds will not swa, as in compel and lament. The letter U is already a relaxed sound, so it is already mushed. The letter I usually holds its sound, or at least some of its sound. The letters A and O are most likely to mush or schwa to the U sound. As noted above, E's will generally mush to a short I sound if they schwa especially at the end. At the end of a word, the letter Y will have its normal long I sound when it's accented, but will have the long E sound in its unaccented syllables. Deny, misapply, cruelty. Now three, number 10, 11, and 12. See you back in three minutes. Now we're going to take a look at the sound spelling patterns of English words of Greek origin. From the Greek letter phi, shown here, PH as F, F as in phonics. Greek words also overuse Ys. 
It's normally Y as short or long I, but just like in English, E at the end of longer words usually. Greek can also have CHSK, as in archaeology and chronic. Greek also has some unique silent letters as part of letter teams. Silent H and RH, M and MN, and silent P in these combinations shown here. Many Greek words are combined by adding two roots together, just like compound words are made in English, like ship and mate put together makes shipmate. In the same way, if you put together two Greek root words, tele and phone makes telephone. Now we can use our knowledge of Greek roots to make our own, make at least two real words. The rest can be invented words or real words. See you back in two minutes. Latin is not just an ancient language carved in stone. English has many words of Latin origin. Latin's a romance language, and words of Latin origin often have the romance language sound of I as long E, as in audio, aquarium, mosquito. Since native English words don't end in a V, IVE words can either be short or long I, as in native. At the end of longer words, IVE is usually short I. The next sound we'll look at is T-I-O-N and S-I-O-N. If you say I as a Y and say them fast, schwang the vowel, you get chian and xian, which is close to their sound of shun. The endings T-I-A-L and T-U-R-E follow from this. T-I-A-L has I and E and is similar to T-I-O-N. If you say chiao fast and schwa the O, you get shul, partial. Also, with T-U-R-E, you say the U for you fast and end up with sure, culture. With the ending C-I-A-L, the C interacts with the I to make the sh sound, as in commercial. Our last two endings divide between vowels, but also have a silent O. I-O-U-S ending has I as E, then a silent O, then short U-U-S because it ends in a consonant. Delicious. The ending U-O-U-S has long U, silent O, then us. Continuous. Word endings can help us figure out parts of speech. For example, many L-Y words are adverbs. A short definition of each of the four main parts of speech that are possible choices for words in the worksheet are listed on the sheet. Time to read and classify a few words from Latin. Three minutes. The phonics, word length, and syllable stress of the language of origin all come together to make a different sound and feel for each language of origin. Hemingway wrote powerfully by choosing vivid words of mainly Old English origin. Shakespeare used the power of all the languages, comparing and contrasting the short, powerful Old English words with longer French, Latin, and Greek words. This next exercise won't turn you into Shakespeare or Hemingway overnight, but it will give you some ideas for improving your writing. Your assignment is to write three similar sentences using first primarily words of Old English origin, then mainly Latin words, then with Greek. Does that sound hard? There's a word origin choice grid to help. Look up the Old English column of words on the left and pick three or four words you want to write about, then circle that row all the way across. Narrowing your choices makes it easier to make sentences. If we pick the Old English words tail, bolt, and old, we can make the sentence, this is a tale of an old boat. Latin, an ancient maritime legend exists. And Greek, the archaic myth is nautical. Time to make your own sentences. See you back in five minutes. Now that we've learned some advanced phonics, we're ready for the last few Webster tables. Have each student try at least a few and have them work on earlier words if they have trouble with the longer Webster words. Do the last four exercises, numbers 13 to 16. Three minutes. The whole syllable series has even more phonics and spelling tips. Overlearning sounds and syllables with nonsense words training over time helps build reading speed and accuracy. My average student improves their reading speed by 37% and improves 1.7 reading grade levels after finishing all the lessons. Thanks for watching! If you teach the syllable series to students who need help, you'll be amazed at the difference you can make.